Yo, what is up everyone? My name is Gary and it was a great weekend. But, you know, both my wife and I got into a little tiff. Black boy Joy, she wanna see the Forbes like I wanna see her form. Tell me what you thought, yeah. Hey, you pay me what I'm owed, yeah. Um, <coughs> as you can see, or if you didn't look at my old, sorry, if you didn't look at the last vlog, then you would have noticed that I'm a little bit, um, rusty on taking the video outside of this space. I haven't been out with the camera in a really long time, really since, I'd probably say since Singapore. So which was like almost two years now, which is pretty crazy. So I didn't really know how to record, what to record. Um, I was also a little bit shy in regards to using the camera when people were kind of watching me, but uh, this one was a little bit better than it was yesterday. Uh, if you want to go back, you can check the video up here or over here, I don't know, wherever it is on the video. Um, just see how bad and awful that one was. But regardless, me and my wife went out to um, Japanese restaurant. Uh, we usually try to get out every weekend. It's been a little bit difficult knowing that the cases in the Philippines are quite high and some things haven't been open, but most recently they have been open, so we've been trying to get out as much as possible. So we went to this restaurant, um, we originally went out and we came back because we got in a little bit of a disagreement, talked it out a little bit, um, and ultimately decided to go back out again. So one of the things I love about marriage, it allows you to grow so much um, I don't think marriage is necessarily for everyone but having a partner or someone around um, I think allows you to grow so much in so many ways I'm super stubborn um, don't like to talk about my feelings but since I've met her I'm really into feelings now I really like talking about them and um, I want to have a conversation about everything right uh, so that's kind of one of the things I love about her and the relationship that we have and I love just eating with her as well. So we went out to this restaurant, it was great. We talked a little bit about school, we talked a little bit about um, just the breaks that we have coming up. And it was nice, it was nice just to relax and get away from the writing for me and for her to get away from distance learning, which is just really hard for, for educators right now. I had a lot, maybe too much, some sushi. I had some ramen, which I love so much. I love ramen. And I had some sort of fancy drink. And it was a great weekend. A really great weekend. I think it's really important, especially as a new writer, to take breaks. Sometimes I see online that other authors are able to write X amount of words a day, and that is like power to them. I think if you have the capacity to do that, go ahead. But I think it's important to listen to your body, listen to your mind, listen to your soul. And if you have it in you, do it. And if not, take a break. I do write on the weekend sometimes, sometimes I do not. Um, this weekend, I didn't write very much, and it's okay. I'm feeling okay that I didn't. I don't feel guilty at all. That was it for this weekend. I'm glad that you're tuning in with me. Until next time, stay blessed. Peace. You just have to sometimes deal with the thing that's happening, and then you can be okay again. And, and disagreeing with each other is normal. We're going to normalize that relationships aren't every moment happily ever after. Because I don't think they talk about that.